Hi guys! So we're just getting started with some mathematics here. This is just to get your brains going to see uh, what you're going to remember and a little bit of new work. So we're going to start with basic addition. You're going to look at the column on the left. There's plus sums there. You can use the number line at the top of the page. And I want you to try and do those plus sums as quickly as you can. The next activity is about place value. Remember, place value is about tens and units. What's the value of the number? So if we look at the example they give us, it is 62. Now, in this number, the 6 actually means 60. And the 2 is the units. So that is only two loose blocks. So they underlined the 2. And they want to know what is the value of the 2 in that number. And then we know it's at the units. So the value is 2, not 20, only 2. The next one, I also want to do as an example. The number is 44 that they give us. So it's a 40 and a 4. And they underline the 4. So I want to know now what's the value of this first 4. Is it 4 or is it 40? It's in the tens column. So that means it is 40. When I count in threes, it means I count every third number only. So we always start at zero. So I'm going to skip one and two. I'm going to land on three. Skip four and five. Land on six. I land on every third number only. So that means when I count in threes, I count three, six, nine, twelve. Okay guys, so today we're going to skip counting threes. When we count in threes, we always start at zero. We skip number one and two and we land on three. Skip four and five and we land on six. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to say one, two, three, five, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. 30. I want you to carry on to go all the way to 60. Okay, so in this page, you're going to start at the top. You're going to write the number that comes between, before or after the number that I gave you. Then you're going to count how many ants there are and how many flowers there are. I suggest you put them in groups. Group them in twos and fives and in tens and then count in either two, fives or tens. Go write the number symbol as well as the number name. Guys, there's different ways of doing addition sums. I'm going to show you the first method to this week. And then later on in the other weeks, I'm going to show you the different methods to do it. So this week we're doing breaking up both digits into tens and units and then putting them back together again to get the answer. Okay, so the important thing is you have to break up both numbers into tens and units. You're going to rename them. So we're going to take 23, and I'm going to say 23 is a 20 plus a 3. This part you guys know, we've practiced it. And then I'm going to take 31, and I'm going to rename 31 as well. And 31 will be a 30 and a one. Okay, now this is a plus sum. So I have to make a little plus there to show I'm going to plus to remind myself. And now I'm going to start adding them together. So 20 plus 30 will give me 50. A 3 plus a 1 will give me 4. And now this is my tens and my units, so I have to put them in together again. And a 50 and a 4 will give me 54. And that is my answer. Then I hop to the top and I write the answer in here.
54. Okay guys, so often the minus sum is the confusing one because although we are minusing, we write a plus. I'll explain to you now. Because we are taking 48 and we are renaming it, we are not uh, plusing or minusing anything yet. We are just renaming it. So 48 will still be 40 plus 8. We write a plus there because 48 is a 40 and an 8. Okay, let me just do this one a bit neater. Plus an 8. Now, the same with 25. I'm going to take the 20 and the 5. And I'm going to say a plus because we're just breaking out. We're not plusing or minusing anything yet. We're breaking it up in 25. It's a 20 and a 5 together. It gives me 25. So that's why I write a plus. Then I want you to almost remember. But now the next step we have to minus. Because this is a minus sum. So now we're going to get to minus. So now we're going to say 40 minus 20 gives me 20. And 8 minus 5 gives me 3. Now I've got a tens and a units again. So this time I'm also going to plus them together to get my final answer. I'm going to say 20 and a 3 will give me 23. I'm going to hop to the top and write it in here. 23. Now guys, I know these sums might look difficult. But I promise you, once you get it, you're going to just do them like snap. Okay? So what I want you to do, I just want you to try. And I want you to keep on trying. And I want you to practice. If you get it right, excellent. Do one every day. If you don't get it, keep on trying. Watch the videos again and um, uh, do two every day.